the times this week already. Right. Yeah, it's GPC. So, what is up, everyone? It's me, it's me, it's uh, SYKO Swish. I don't know why they said that, but anyway. GP3, round two. It's Bahrain. Don't get confused. Don't be too hasty. Um, yeah, second round. Last night had um, XTGX Berserk. X as the winner. <laughs> Too many X's in that name, but oh well. If that makes them feel fabulous, then let them feel fabulous. Uh, we're just currently sitting waiting. We're going to be waiting. One of the Red Bulls going out. Yeah, I could hear an engine. First car out is. No, it's not Echo Carly, well, there's a car in front of him, but I can't select that car, so that's logic from Codemasters. But I think it's his teammate, and his teammate is. I don't know. I don't want a previous car, my next car, previous car, next car. It's actually W1 Aguero, and um, sadly, Aguero, no, Aguero isn't an F1 driver. So, yeah. Galashan's out. Missed the breaking point massively though. <laughs> the humpa dink, the dinky dink. He's out. I, I've never seen that again. I apologise. Tony ninety one sixty one and ninety one is the exact age of Sundance. <laughs> River Joe sixty nine. <laughs> I'm not laughing sixty nine. So, sorry, sorry, no, I'm not kidding. Um, River Joe sixty nine in the Mercedes. Obviously, as you can see, he's spotting a Nico Rosberg. So. And we're going to speak to him a lot this race. Pothead 1066. That seems like a 0800 double low. 1066. Ding. Yeah, that's a. Um, that was like a taxi advert on the radio I used to listen to when I was a kid. And Gal yep, Galashan's Hamilton, so you'll not see Galashan a lot in this race. Uh, the Humpa Dink, the Dinky Dink. There again. Um, is anyone going to go on a lap yet? WF on Guru, according to Thomas WF on Guru. <laughs> Alright, Tom, you do me a favour, I want you to look on the um, race director. Or um, any incidents, if there's any incidents, you let me know. Adam, I just want you to just have a look about, just tell me like, who's out on track or who's um, thing in particular. Like, come on, just look on the session info and tell me if someone's been purple. But right now, we're with WF on Aguero, he's coming up to turn 4, so want to be nice and but break at 100 meter boards. He's done that nicely. He's hit the apex very nicely as well. A little bit wide, but it won't cost him anything. And we were 28. Now it's a 29-1 for sector. I mean, he, he was two times off being in the 20. But it's only a tenth, but anyway. Currently, what the turn seven? I think it is at the end of the S is the middle sector. Corner's a bitch with ABS off. 29-161's got his lap invalidated already. Um, Aguero, done it nice there, that corner's actually not too bad on ABS, is what it used to be. It used to be horrible. Um, yeah, Alonso. Opinions, is he a prick or not? <laughs> Alonso. Yeah, shout out to Big Nath one and uh, it's not the only thing that's in his name. Giggly. Aguero! What, has Aguero got two warnings? If they've actually got warnings, then call it, call it out for a Yeah, Galashan 10 left the track twice, okay. And you're going to cross the line, it's going to be a 32-5. to five. I swear on my screen it's going to be like 32-2, but anyway. So we're going to have a quick look at the session info, so he's on provisional pole, but I don't think that'll be the pole position lap. <laughs> going to go on board with the previous winner. TGX, oh sorry, it's XTGX space X Berserk X because you can't say X enough. Uh, I've got a little bit of a glitch on the Twitch team, I don't know how many viewers we got. Uh, so that's a little bit fun. No, I don't. Alright. Uh, he's coming towards the middle side, which is going to be a 39. 39.6, nine, so he's 5 tenths up. In the middle sector. As opposed to. I want to say monster, but it's Aguero, or um, 
as um, Tom says, Ag Hero, something like that. But anyway, he's going to come across like it's going to be 130? 130, 1-5. So it's not pulled, so what is the pole position lap time? It is the Humpa Dinky Dinky Dink. <laughs> 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 on a 131.4, so there's a tenth difference. So currently, as you can see, it goes Humpadink X T G X B X Berserk. <laughs> you know, just T G this Berserk, this Berserk. Badman, fourth. What guy? The Humpadink a Dinky Dink. Is there another lap? 28.8, That's quicker than in the middle sector. The Berserk did. Let's see the Humpa Dinky Dinky Dink. Come up to the final corner. <laughs> I need to stop saying Humpa Humpa Dinky Dinky Dink. I'm going to stop saying that. Sorry, Humpa Dinky Dinky Dink. Right, I'm stopping for that one. Humpa Dink. So uh, 30 points. 31 3. He improved by a tenth. So he must have lost time in that last sector. And keep extending it. Um, send him a message and tell him to stop doing that, please. I'm just going to have a quick look at the race director. This hopefully it's going to be clean. Ugh. <sighs> yeah, um... Did Berserk finish a second lap? No, he didn't. He went, he went wide. No, he didn't finish his line. He didn't finish that lap. Yeah, that was really not good, but anyway. Right, let's go back into the action because I know you'll be missing seeing those cars. I don't really know what there's to miss about him anyway. But that's on his third lap now. Um, don't know why you'd fill the car that much. You want to wreck the tyres, but have fun racing with them. Anyway, he's coming up to turn four currently. He's going to break at the 100 metre board again. You tend to always break 100 metre boards in Formula One. Uh, it's fine with Berserk and his second lap he backed off it. He's on his third lap now, he's done a 28.9 for second, so what's that? It's a tenth down on the pole, but his fastest sector was the middle and the last, as opposed to Humpadink. I think a dink. The day was his nah, his first lap was clean, his second lap um, he backed off. His second lap his second lap that um, he backed off is um, I think it was just a cool down lap. He tried the first sector, went wide, just calmed down a little bit. Hopefully. I think so, we'll check the bloody thing and tell me. He's done a 39 4, so he's up by two tenths as opposed to his last lap. That's actually going to be a good lap. This might be actually close for a Berserk. Hold on now. Yep, yep. Oh. And he's coming up to the line. It's going to be 30, 31. 31.5 again. 31.514, but it does. Wait, he did beat it, I think. I'm just going to double check for us quickly. Oh my god, um. <laughs> at lap 3, he didn't get a warning for it, though. He didn't get a warning. Alright. Three warnings in one lap. Please tell me he did not improve his lap. Ah, uh, they're coming to pits. All right. Uh, most notably, K Badman and Tony are on the primes, as well as Pothead, while he's smoking that pot. I don't know. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So we we'll can see there's um. Forty-four. I'm guessing is actually. Oh, look at that. They actually done the actual numbers. Wait, who the hell is number nineteen? Oh wait, it's Martha. As we're on board with AK Racing, I completely forgot whose number is which in this. Like, it's just really confusing, so don't judge me. <laughs> anyway, as we're coming out of coming to turn three, yeah, that race is starting to fill up, which is really worrying for qualifying. Breaking the 100 meter boards again, I think he's missed that breaking point slightly. No, not really. Remember, he's on the prime, so he's going to be like, what, 1.3 a lap slower? 29.3 first sector, okay, not the best, but it's not the worst and the car just wants to slide there as you can see it. I don't know if that's just the setup. Who's on an outlap? Buffalo's on an outlap. Alright, that's good, 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 good. 
with a good, good two shoes. Oh. Yeah, you know what? That is right with the nose. Like, you get a little bit sense of that speed. Okay, I've had enough of that. <laughs> it bored me to tears. It's not actually bored me to tears, but anyway. It's not the best corner there, but it'll do. That's alright, come on. I think he's two seconds down. 41 2, that's like 1.5 plus that, two seconds down. See that mathematics? That's horrible math, so I apologize. Shut up. <laughs> um, yep, it's nicely done at the last corner. He's coming out to the last corner under the golf air sign and he's going in the pits. So, uh, River Joe, 69. Is that an outlap? Remember, Tom, like, if it's their outlap, it doesn't matter. It's only if it's their flying lap. If it's an outlap or an end lap, it doesn't matter. If they get a warning on their actual hot lap, it's just to tell them, Tom and the viewers, if you get a warning on your hot lap, your lap will be invalidated. And if you cannot beat that lap, you will start from the back. And because we can't actually pull them to the back, we just let everyone else go by and then they can go. And that was a 31, that's a 33 one. Oh my god, I cannot read. That's a fifth position for Tony Macaroni. Dude, Tony Macaroni. Uh, yeah, that's his best lap so far. He's on a hot lap. We're on board with spare buffalo, because the buffalo, I really want some buffalo wings now. Who's with me? Uh, and turn four is coming at the exit. It's nice to done what it's going to be. Oh, the rear end once the spin is going to be, what, 28-1? 29-0. Like, honestly, all masculines look like they're second quicker, but they're second slower. Really annoying. Uh, so that's actually a pretty good first sector for primes, especially with the rear end one to spin. Uh, it's nicely done. Um, double left-hander. Bit of a bitch, especially really worn tyres with ABS off. So, little top tip from Swish, Swish top tip. There you go. It's a STT. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a that yeah, was yeah, uh, uh, it's not bad. And um, what's it going to be? One eight, one eight. It's a forty point three, which is actually a pretty good uh, middle section. Sorry, it's actually a pretty tight lap. They should put him in what the top five, I think. He should jump Tony Macaroni. Hey, Tony Macaroni. I've never actually been Tony Macaroni. Um, anyway, back to the subject. But he's coming under the golf air site and he's not going in the pits. It's going to be a 32... 32.5, which puts on third place. I think that's actually quicker than what Huge Bob was doing on Prime. No, wait, Hu sorry. Sorry, apologies to Huge Bob. I think he done 31 once. I can't remember, I'm sorry. So he was third for a second, but then Cade Badman just went up with 31.7. Thank you very much, Mr. Adam Lee. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to look back quickly. As all, as all I've seen that man in Marussia, don't deny it, he's do. The side pods aren't there anymore. They're blue. Shh. Right, anyway, back to subject. We're going to go on board with Galishan. <laughs> I'm not like that. That's just his helmet on. I don't like how on. Ah, no. It did look much better. Ah, okay, we'll give you a little bit of an overview. Uh, 41 3. Ah, it's not too bad. <coughs> Apologies there. Uh, so, yeah, so right now, guys, um, a bit prediction wise, um, who do you think, you think pole position is going to stay the way it is right now? Just at the end of this lap, we'll show you what it is. It's going to be. 37, so Galishan improved. Yeah, guys, so just put it in the comments right now. Do you think pole position's gonna stay like that? Do you think Humperdinck is gonna keep pole position? Or do you think X, TGX, Berserk is gonna get pole as TGX, Berserk is on a flying lap right now? 28 9, nicely done. So put it in the comments below. Who do you think pole position is gonna go to? Put it in the comments. If you can't comment down below, then just send a message through um, Facebook if you've got no Facebook. If you don't have no Facebook, don't try to find them on Facebook. Just don't. Just put a comment through, guys, if you think who's gonna win. Not win, then skip pole position. 
39.6. It's not his best middle sector. So it's not his best lap so far. Is TJ going to pit and just go for another set of options? That might be the wise thing to do. But he's not going to do that. He's not, he's not going to get pole position for that. Told ya. Oh, wait, who went second? I bet it was Aguero. No, it wasn't. It was K-Badman. Doi. Uh, Badman also said the fastest last sector. We're going to go on board with Humpadink. K-Dink. K-Dink. When he's out lap, so someone let me know when he is actually on his flying lap. I think TJX Berserk is going on um <clears throat> on his another flying lap straight away. It's gonna be a 28-8. 29 flat. God damn it, it's so hard to predict. It's so hard to predict on this what lap time to go. Oh no, wait, I think he's backed off. He's backed off again, yeah, I think he has. Spare Buffalo, just they see me rolling. They hate him. Sorry. He's on a hot lap. Yeah, he's just winding up for that hot lap. As you see with that Valtteri Bottas. Kind of spotting the helmet. See, like, maybe two Bottas is going to win. GP1, Bottas did. I'm not saying WF1 Bottas, because there isn't one. Used to be. Guy changed his name to Vettel. Good choice. Oh my god. Not on the same lap, but as his best, but look at his best lap and just see. Um, it'll tell you in the session info. Nicely done there by Humpadink. Hey, dink -a dink Coming towards the end of the first set, was it going to be a 28-8? Oh, nicely done. He's tied his first best first sector. As he's coming up to the double left hander now, we just want to keep this nice and tight to get the best exit possible. Is he going to do that? Yeah, you can hear the rear squealing. I don't know if that's going to go ABS off, but anyway, it's nicely done there, just straight back on the power. Coming under that Pirelli sign, if it's at 54, 55, it's a good lap. It's going to go at 39, 4, 39, 5 middle sector, possibly. Just beautifully done there on the double, on the left hander. Um, get through that long right hander, you just have to sit and wait. 39.6, so I said 34, 35, I don't know, 10th off. Oh no! Oh hell no! Sad getting tips for you, eh? Uh, it's going under the golf air sign, it's going to be 28, 29, 30, 31.3 again, I think he beat his lap. I think he did beat his lap there, but I'm um, not the happiest about that last corner, to be honest. I mean, we call that on the stream. I mean, guys, let me know on the stream. Do you think that should actually count? Galashan. Right, lap one, lap two. It should be, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to check something. Yeah, it is. I'm just going to check something quickly. Galashan. The only lap Galashan put him was a 35 3. That put him 10th? And what well, lap time did Pothead do? That's fine. Alright, that's fine. Oh, uh, not yet. Ekeration still coming across. Hey, hey, look at this. We can go in broadcast mode. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Let's go back to River Joe. He's jumping in the pits. Oh great, I got the glitch again, everyone's speeding the pit lane. Thank you, Codemasters, for making a brilliant game. Um, I was clear on the stream, so I mean, the rules stay. If it's a warning on the race director, we, and that was his fastest lap, he has to start for the back, we can't approve it. So if it's not on the race director, we can't do nothing about it. Hands are tied. But it was a, it was a track extent, no doubt about it, but... Anyway, that is the end of qualifying. I'm just going to quickly show you the race director one more time. There is the top 11, because discard Vettel, because Vettel's not racing. Because I said so. Not because I said so, because he's Jordan. <laughs> uh, top 11, yep, there it goes as follows. Um, honestly, guys, who do you think is going to win? What's your predictions for top 3 at the end of the race? You think Humperdinck for the win, Vettel? What do you think, Adam? 
I think Buffalo as well, because he's on the primes. He's popped up into fourth. He's only he's only one point just under one point two off of the pole position lap. Well, what a way to end today's session. ORL, Oasis Racing League has said Berserk for the win. They think Berserk's going to win. I personally think Berserk's going to be like P4, P3 maybe. Just depends how bad man's going to be. Hopefully there's no dive bombs into the first corner. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, no, I think bad man. Bad man for the win. No bad man. B Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo. I can't speak today. I'm just going to shut up. That's the end of commentating for me for the rest of my life. I say Buffalo. Yeah, Berserk's on really old tyres. That's going to haunt Berserk. Um, I, I think he's just going to fall back massively, especially on this track. You just cannot be on warm tyres on this track. You lose too much time. The performance just drops. Not like it's hot, it just drops. Yeah, man. Oh, hey, B. Hey, hey, when you get a message from B. <laughs> Alright, guys, just keep those comments coming in on the stream. Who do you think is actually going to win? Top three. I've got Buffalo River Joe. Oh, River Joe. River Joe. Is there even a River Joe in the lobby? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the drivers off my heart. Yeah, it's River Joe 69. I've learned someone. I think. Remember, Pothead can choose his tyres. So Pothead can go primes or he can go options. See, there's River Joe 69, right there in 8th place. I mean, it might be hard for him to do it, but nothing's impossible. It is Formula 1 at the end of the day. I mean, heck, you had Barrichello winning from last in 2000 at Germany. Yo, it's brutal. Brutal what? Brutal, brutal days. Um, at the start of the race, don't retire straight away because your car shoots off. So just wait until I say you can retire. So just pull off gently at the start. And I'll say, right guys, you can retire. You can retire. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start on the snow tires. <clears throat> Uh, we just need to wait on them to ready up. Uh, so while that's happening quickly, I'm going to run to the lavatory. I um, don't know why I said lavatory, but anyway. It's brutal reaps, 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 Yo. I mean, let's just hope, let's just hope that um, Buffalo has similar pace to what um, Huge Bob had on the primes at the start. Because that's what got Huge Bob the win. It wasn't the pace on the options, it was his pace on primes that he didn't fall back that much. That's just crucial for everyone starting on the primes. Possibly, but past this lap, I think that will go to Berserk. I think Berserk will come out fast this lap. Just have a little prediction. Um, you got um, anyone you think will be a surprise in this race? Maybe AK, maybe, maybe, maybe. Brutal Reapers F1 2014 WF1 F1 2014, let's remember that game. Horrid Mario Kart explains all straight away. Um, 
It's just Mario Kart and <laughs> on a f uh, supposed to be a realistic game. Mario Kart's. Ding. Uh, I've got quite much. Okay, they think Pothead's lagged out of the lobby. And how is that, Benjamin? I say young and he's older than me, but still logic. How is that, young Benjamin? Please let me know, and I'm trying to reply a text, so I've got priorities, I'm sorry. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, so we're waiting for the weather in Scotland. It's typical. Horrible. Rain, rain, rain. Guess what? More rain! <laughs> although, there was, there was, although there was a little bit of sunshine yesterday. A little bit of sunshine yesterday. I think Pothead has lagged out of lobby. Okay, um... Yeah, his car's still there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. On my phone, it's horrible. Honestly, me typing on my phone is just so pathetic. Honestly, I'm like A, B. E, D, F, R, but when it's on my iPod, I could type without even looking at the keyboard. But on my phone, I look at the keyboard and I still can't type normally for shit. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, pothead, dead lag out, yeah. So unfortunately for that, but... We've got a countdown up the top left of the screen, as you could see it. Oh my god, I'm getting so hyped. Oh my god! I'm not... I'm not. <laughs> Alright, you wait for me, sorry, I'm putting on the snow tires. Okay, okay. Right, um, Tom, I want you to watch the back four. Adam, watch the middle four. Let me know if there's any battles going on. Five lights. And we're away. Just battle for a little bit. Slowly, right, retire. Yeah, that's a classic view there. So far, it looks good. Ah, River Joe. Yeah, River Joe caught Tony there. I caught that. I'm just going to look back a little bit quickly. Humpenek's got a little bit of a gap. Bagman and his berserk against Aguero. Buffalo fell down to fifth. Then it's AK Race, and then it's Tony, Galishan, Echo, River Joe. That's top 10 as it follows right now. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Damn, TG was a little bit wide. I'm just going to go on board quickly with Spare Buffalo as he's, remember he's on the Primes, I think he's the lead car on the Primes. He's got a little bit wide to avoid tapping Aguero, but he's got, a, well, he's got the better exit, but remember just with those options he's... Oh, I forgot to join for the party. Yeah, that's nicely done there, I'm just going to go back quickly, have a look on Tony. Here's Tony Macaroni. Just gonna keep um show a little bit cinematic views. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to be honest. Um nice little done and Tony's gonna follow. Although it looks like Buffalo's just gonna start sizing up Aguero, but we're gonna keep an eye on the battle for the lead. Right now is it looks like is Badman gonna be close enough to make a move or is it gonna dive bomb it? It looks like it might dive bomb this to be honest. Although Humberdink took the defensive line. Humperdex missed the breaking point slightly though. Badman's gonna get the switch back, I think. No, he's not. Nice defending there from Humperdex. So Humperdex keeps lead, but Badman might get him into turn four here. He's gonna go quickly back on board. He's gonna have a look. No, he's not. He's feeding back in there nicely done. Oh, then again. <laughs> Humperdex went wide. Just going quickly back. And no, Humperdex has still kept the lead. Berserk, there's Aguero, there's yep, the top five's pulling away actually. Tony did get past a curation, so apologies for that there. Johnny Bravo. There's River, Joel, 69, yeah. 
and Carlisle does go a little bit wide. It's going to go back to the... Oh, wow, it's got... Buffalo got past Berserk somehow and Aguero. I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, is that going to stick? No, it's not. Nice defending there from Buffalo. Buffalo's actually a decent defender. I've battled him before. He's decent. I just want to look quick at the back, but you just keep an eye on that battle for fourth, for third, fourth, and fifth lead. It's just bad man's all over the back of Humperdinck right now. He's just, he needs to get that good X out of the last corner. But his Humperdinck looks a little bit more confident on those breaks. Is and bad man's going to go up on the inside? Is he going to make the move stick? Is he going up the inside? Yes, he has, but he's missed it. Oh my days. He's done more than missing the breaking point there, he's going to split, he's come off. Nah, he's done more than a battle. Yeah, Aguero should slip straight past. Aguero on the inside. Cut the chicane a little bit, to be honest, a bit cheeky. Yeah, I thought that there. AK Racing, then it's Galashan, then it's Echo, Echo, Echo. River Joe. And Berserk came out on the primes. And he is... I can't think he's supposed to be back later, but he's not. He's a lot further back than that. Yeah, it's, just, it's going to be important right now for Buffalo in fourth place. Keep up with the main runners. He's going to have to hope that the leader... Uh, I want to say Tony Macaroni, but it's not. <laughs> it's Humperdinck. <laughs> that Humperdinck doesn't fill away too much. He's going to have to hope that doesn't happen, because if Humperdinck does pull away, then it's going to be really hard for him to get the win. Is that a big corner cut? He's fucking Mario Kart! Yep, and we've seen it. Echo, no, not there, Echo. Not there, not there. It's never going to work! You never make moves on that corner. It is very, very, very rookie to do that. Yeah, I just said very rookie, that makes sense. It's a rookie move doing that. Aguero still in third place behind the bad man. Gap's currently three seconds between the leader and second place right now. There's a battle for seven still going on. Uh, Echo's a bit far back though. Oh, he's missed the breaking point. He missed the breaking point. I mean, nicely done to avoid Galishan, but... Woo! Yeah, Berserk's just going to have to keep... It's going to be a long race for Berserk. He's just going to have to be damage limitation. He wrecked with his tyres at the start. Still, gap still three seconds. He's going to keep an eye because now Buffalo should start catching. Did the track extend? How bad was the track extend? Nah, no, he's in no man's land. He's literally in no man's land. <laughs> Tony's only seven seconds back. Buffalo's just five, which is actually still pretty good, considering they're going to go, what, a lap, two laps more? I don't to lap five now. The, I'm just going to show you quickly the standings that follows. Humberdink's in first with a gap of 2.8, so close it down by just, just over a tenth in that last lap. No, it's 2.8, I can read it. <laughs> Aguero's four seconds back in third place, then it's closely followed as K Badman. And then it's Tony9161, aka Tony Macaroni as his new name. In fifth place, eight seconds back. AK Racing just under 11 seconds back. On the leader, we've got Garlashan, 10 in seventh place, rocking that horrible looking helmet of Lewis Hamilton. And we go Echo X Kal L203, which TLC is fun. I'm not even going to say that because you're going to find my door and that's really weird, so hell no. Uh, XTGX Berserk and River Joe Pitted. River Joe Pitted, that's a very early pit stop. It's a lap earlier than what I've done, so it's not that early. It still is early. It'll get, it'll get a massive undercut, so keep trying the lap times for me for um, River Joe. Yep. 
Is there anything from the RS? Yeah, it should be actually. Anyways, he's coming through the double, but not the double right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the double right hander. That's a double right hander. There's a lot of double corners on this and that uh, middle sector. Seems like we're very lazy. I mean, let's put an S here, let's put a double left hander here, let's put another double left hander here, and let's put a double right hander just to make your tyres feel lovely. Oh, anyway, Buffalo should be actually within DRS range. Is the DRS going to open? Uh, well, he's in DRS range, so we know that, but I just can't see the DRS is being open on my screen. Thank you very much for coming. He's going to look. No, that is way too far back. Can you record that for me, please? Uh, it's not uh, it's not wrecked him that much. He's, he's came back right in front of Tony. Yeah, he's let Tony through, but... Uh, that was extremely... He wasn't, he wasn't with even... Uh, he was four times back to Aguero as he crossed the start finish line. So that would be like three times back, which is like over two car lengths. So that would definitely be getting invested in the race. Echo pitted as well. Yep, the River Joe is going to jump on this. going to be very close out of the pits. I mean, River, River Joe, you, whoa, nicely done there from Carl Echo. I've never seen someone do that actually. In a league race, I don't think I have. I've seen people slowing down a lot, but I've never seen them. Yeah, Tony Macaroni got up to fourth place. Um, yeah, I think Buffalo's just going to. I mean, if I was Aguero, I'd be petting this lap. But these tyres would have heated up a lot from that, so it would be more damage for the tyres. Just pet this lap. Get new tyres on. Okay, as Aguero, is he gonna come in the pits? Alright, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Yeah, Aguero's in the pits. Is anyone else in the pits? Someone else is. I'm just gonna watch Aguero. Uh, sorry, Buffalo. Buffalo's going up the inside. It's going to make it a lot cleaner this time. Tony's still there, though. Tony's still there. What's he going to cut back on? Oh, nicely done there. Nicely done. The Humperdinck did not pit. So it was... K-Badman. Uh, K-Badman and Aguero pitted there. Is Buffalo's fell back nine seconds that they see I think that might have actually cost Buffalo a race one there. That's it has cost them a lot of time with that spin. It was very, very careless of them to do that. Yeah, def you wanna take it easy but with those tires they can go a l they can go what three laps further than the options. And plus, with the the pace doesn't fall off as bad, so you can push those tires a lot. No, you can take you can, they'll if depends how your driving style is. If you drive them aggressively, they'll only go they'll pop on lap thirteen. So technically, yeah, only twelve laps. But if you treat them nicely, they can do like 14, 15 easy. And we're just gonna have to keep it. I'm just gonna watch how his defensive moves in. We'll stay on the racing line. That's not that's not one of that. Not one move. It's like, it's like to move to the right. Or if he, no, wait, if he keeps on the race line so far down the pit straight. Okay, that is. <sighs> you record that, please. Just, just record that. All right, Tony's got up the inside. Nicely done, but Buffalo back on the switch. Back, he's going to hang on outside. Oh, all four wheels whiz off. They should have given it back because they had all four tyres off to be honest. Oh, so yeah, the leader did pit. Where the hell did the leader fall back to? Humberdink did come out in fourth, and wow, the Ferraris were battling. K Badman and Berserk. Badman did jump his teammate though, and the uh, Humberdink's on the primes, Badman's on the options, so Badman's going to look to get past Humberdink fairly easily. He's going to get the better traction out here to the double left hander. Just keep it patient, it'll get him on the second DRS straight right here. But nice and tight, Humperdinck's, Humperdinck's front tyres are locking up Philly, but he's going to get the better traction. 
traction, option tyres, plus DRS, humper dinks, made as much as we can. They need to watch with that, because I've, I've seen it before, yeah, you're entitled to come back to the racing line if there's a car with distance. There wasn't a car with there, so... And I don't think we got that bit, but did he let him through before the end of the lap? Give him a verbal warning for that. And Badman's gonna go up the inside, is he not? No, not there, not there, but no. See, all that did was compromise his exit, and Buffalo pit there as a lap early. Okay, so Hampton X made his one defensive move to the inside, he's not allowed to come back over. Alright, nicely done there from Badman. Is Humper gonna have a little bit of a look? Oh, he's, he's poked his nose in there. But Badman's through. Although he's gonna come back at him. He's gonna come back at him right now. Is he through? They're gonna come back? Is it the comeback of the century? No, it's not. Another AK racing. Up in second. Yeah, he's just gonna fall back there. Yeah, Tony Macaroni in first place. Nicely done. He's on the prems. You can go this lap, or preferably you want to go to the end of lap 10. Just to make sure you're comfortable on those option tyres for the rest of the race. He's only 7.8 back. He's only 10 seconds back for K Badman. And Badman's on a flyer, but he's going to have to be. Carl Shan's got a 3 second pen for a corner cut next time, for telling me that. Uh, that, that's, that won't count. No, AK let him through, AK let him through, it was nicely done. Good, good switch there with teammates to help each other. What's if my teammate Jamal would do that for me? He would, I'd do it for him. Did Badman just let off the throttle? Badman just let off the throttle there. Okay, he left the... S wow! It just, it was just driving there and just paused, and then he just paused the car and just left. I don't know, like, nah, it's a glitch. It's a glitch. Don't worry. Another race and did come out on times again. River Joe is gonna jump him because River Joe is your boy. Gonna be close between Galishan and AK Racing. What's gonna happen here? I mean, Galishan should get the better exit if he plays it smart, plays his cards right. Galishan's gonna try it on the outside. He's done it. No, he's not. He's missed the breaking point, though. No. AK Racing came back at him, and AK steps side by side. Done it. Oh, he's gonna this. He's in. Yep. Galshan's just ahead. Only just. On board with his teammate River Joe. Tony's in a little bit of macaroni no man land. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm gonna stop saying that. The AK just gotta be a bit patient. He's on the primes. I mean personally if he sat in the I just went straight to options. Because you put the primes out of the way. I remember um, Voodoo Infinity did this and I think this ruined his race. But Galishan goes wide again and he's got to watch if he goes wide. He's got to watch if he comes back on that race line because that's twice it's been very close to meeting contact. I cannot speak today. It's like I've got like alphabet spaghetti like with my words. <laughs> yeah, but there's current order at the start of lap 11. I cannot speak. Humperdinck is in the lead currently with 1.5 to TG X. X TG X Berserks. Now TG should be pitting soon. Oh yeah, AK got past him, but Galishan's gonna have another look. No, he's not. No, he's not. Ah, cheers for that there, Tom. Nice. AK's gonna pull away a little bit, but Tony, that's not Tony, it's Carlisle. Okay, Humperdink, how big is the gap now? Still 1.4, but Berserk's tyres should go off and it should be pinned soon. What's he going to do? He's going to two-stop that? Oh, he's doing what? That's his ninth lap, goes 10. He can do another 10 laps on primes and then options. Yeah, I'm not excited to close them, because remember Aguero's on the 
primes and uh, Buffalo is on the options now. That's a little bit of um, payback, say, come on, so they say, biatch. But it's, it's a bit of payback. It's not really payback because nothing happened, but yeah, he's on the options, he's on primes, do the math, he's got 1.3 seconds a lap quicker. Go Buffalo, play it smart. You're already being investigated for an incident earlier and you're still going to look at it as well. You never go for an overtake on that corner because you lose too much time, you compromise your exit. He's almost in because of the option tyres, but he's going to look up the inside. Is he going to get... Nah, it's a glitch, he's got DRS open. And Buffalo is up to third place, and apparently he's only 6.6 on .6 the leader. Berserk's fall back 8 times here as opposed to the last lap. Yeah, sorry, I didn't even finish the order. In first place of this, and midway through lap 12, it's Humperdinck in the lead. Berserk in second, Buffalo third, and it's Aguero just falling down from third into fourth place. Tony Macaroni. Stop saying Macaroni because I think it's a pretty funny. AK Races in sixth place, Carly Shans in seventh, and AK and Galishan are both out. Sorry. They are now a pit stop distance back from the leader, so it's going to be it's pretty much impossible for them to win now. Echo Kalel is in 8th and River Joe has picked again, so he is in last place currently in 9th. No, he's not. Aguero got overtaken by Buffalo. Buffalo's just going to start pulling away his next, next car in front of him as um, Berserk. But Berserk should be picked at the end of this lap. If not the end of this lap, that should be the next lap. And then by the time Buffalo's tyres come to end, Humpadink should start pulling away a little bit thanks to the prime option logic. Well, to be fair, it's good logic. Oh wow, it's a very, very, very... I mean, if he's battling with someone and he does that at the last second, that will be a what that is dangerous driving at the max. I don't think we do, but I just think it's like not the best to do it because then it shows you're doing it last minute. And if you're in a battle with someone, I don't. I think if you're battling someone, you're not allowed to do that. But if you know, um, like you're just on your own, or like you've got someone close to you, then you could do it. But as long as they're not like within DRS range. The point of there been people in the, in the past that have actually ended up hitting the pit wall. I'm positive that has like Nathan has actually been someone who's hit the pit wall before. I mean like I know you didn't have the best luck on this track uh, last season. But that was last season. This season you were fine, which is good. Man, AK based on they're just AK's just taking too much speed into the start of the S's. Takes it into fourth gear to the start of the S's. Fifth, sixth, he's gonna be around it like it's nothing. But he's going straight through it at sixth, I think, and it's just compromising him so badly. As Buffalo has taken out four times in this lap, okay, oh, it's taken out more than four, it's actually eight. It Six point four start of the lap. Taken out eight times on the leader, Humpadink. Eating, getting. I'm not going to stop saying that. And the gap is 5.6, it took out 1.1. Now, Buffalo pitted lap eight. Tires start falling away about lap five. And that was last lap. We should start to see the gap come down very, very slowly. But remember guys, most interesting is that Humpadink will not be on those primes probably again for the rest of the race after the stint. That's just something notable that's going to happen. Although it's a cheeky cut there and he's right there. Alright, I get we're pushing the car to the limit. But keep it on the body track. I can maybe understand like, like a tyre going wide here, a tyre going wide there, but not four tyres going off here, four tyres going off there. <laughs> guys, just currently, um, since we're roughly caught up to the midway point, um, for you guys right now, in the comments, just got like, any questions and sort of just want to just ask in general, or just... I don't know, I just want to ask about the race in general, 
any question wise if you want to ask it just put it in the comments and we'll read it out and the three of us will answer it here and now. Yeah, because why not? <laughs> I'm not saying the race is boring, just it's at that midpoint it's always like this in every race, so yeah, just put some comments down in the comment section. <laughs> right there, I've got the comments loaded up. Are we on the primes? Yeah, I told you I might need to be doing a two stop. That's a very weird two stop though, but it can work. It's going to be 23.2, wow! It took out 1.8 there on the race leader. That's on prime, new primes to old primes, but think about how much you would catch if it was on brand new options. Just saying. It would have undercut them easily. He might still undercut him, but only just. Uh, Buffalo, the gaps, 3.3, so you can see, like I said, the gaps going to start slowly, slowly coming down. But it's getting to the stage where Buffalo's tyres should be coming to the end of the life. Should be pitting at the end of this lap, if not then the next lap. There's a little bit of a broadcast of, unarguably, the most beautiful looking car in the whole of the grid, besides the Ferrari. Or something there, it just looks beautiful the way it's been done this year. Oh, sorry, last year. I hope they're going to stick with this colour scheme for next season. It's just, it's just beautiful to look at. I hope they don't go to the 2014 colour scheme because many people thought, oh yeah, it's very good looking, and to me it was just fucking ugly as fuck. <laughs> I've seen cartoon drawings before your olds that look better than that. So. That's only 3.2, so see, yep, it's only came down by a tenth in the uh, final sector. Which means that's good news for Humperdink. A dinky dink. I need to stop saying that. <laughs> I really stop saying that. Uh, Berserk is 22.5, at the end of the lap it is 22, and it was 23.2, so I'm to get 1.2 as opposed to 1.8. Interesting. Anyway. Gala Shantain is currently in last place. I think he, yeah, he's pitted again. Um, yeah, he's pitted again. That's all I can really say. Echo, he has pitted again. River Joe, he pitted on lap. Is it lap 10? Yeah, so he should be pitted again soon, actually. AK is in sixth place. I think he's yet to pit again for his second pit stop. Bizarre, it's just, I caught you there all four tires off you, mother trucker. <laughs> Tony Macaroni in 15.2. I mean, it's, it's podium wise, I mean, it's only six seconds away, but it's a little bit far. I don't know if bad man's the electricity card, maybe or just these route are dropped, I don't know. But yeah, guys, don't don't be scared to put some comments on the comment section right now, sorry, in the chat room, because I call them Twitch in the chat room. Just put some questions forward to us in the chat room, or just anything in general. If you cannot put anything for the chat room, just put it on. And Buffalo and the race leader are in the pits. Race leader's gonna get held up, is he? Well, I, I, I don't actually know because it's glitched. <laughs> because it's glitched. <laughs> Buffalo is on the... I don't even know what ties on. They're all speeding the pit lanes. I mean, I'm gonna black flag them all. So watch this when we get to the end of the pit lane. Boink! And they go all the way back. Aguero jumped Buffalo? No, he didn't. See, this is why I hate this penalty. See, Berserk did jump Pumpnik. Yeah, Tony Macaroni is in the lead. He's got a gap of 5.3, as you can see in the top left of the screen. That's actually 4.6 now to Berserk, although Humperdinck is on options so he's going to just breeze past, also so is Buffalo so it'll be interesting to see the gap between those two as the gap is 3.3, and uh, Buffalo, Buffalo, that's Aguero, speak, um, I don't know what the gap's exactly to be honest, people are just tied so we'll see at the end of the lap. Because apparently Humperdinck is minus 14.325 from the leader, and he's not. Yeah, I remember he's on those options, so his options are already being hooked up.
K Badman just leave K Badman leaves the lobby. K God. Uh, 3.9 so Berserk has just fell back 3 tenths to Mr. Tony Macaroni. And Humperdinck is right. Berserk's made his one move across to the inside there. Humperdinck's gonna be stuck. That's a nice view there. Too bad the sparks do not fly. Oh! Gonna record that. Because Humperdinck cut him off. Humperdinck should have left the space there. That's fecked over Berserk. Any chance Berserk got of winning the race, I think I just went there. Actually. 
Uh, Galishan's 48.4. Buffalo, two, so we call it two tenths there. Only two tenths. I mean, if he wants to win the race or. then he's gonna have to put the foot down. Or as my mum would say when we were watching F1 when I was a kid, pull your finger at your. <laughs> she would honestly say that. Is Tony on the primes or options? He's gonna have to put it again. again. He will not make those tires last. And Echo Carlyle is pitting, it should be for his. 